Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Hans Woodhop and R. Bullock. This game was played in Ohio in 1982. Woodhop had white pieces and he started with e4. Bullock played e5. f4, king's gambit. Pawn takes pawn, accepted. Knight to f3, preventing queen to h4. For example, if bishop to c4, then black can play queen to h4, check. Knight to f3, bishop to e7, black wants to give check on h4. Bishop to c4 and bishop to h4, check. Why to move? King to f1 is the most plain move in this position. Maybe it is the best. We have g3. Pawn takes pawn on g3. And Muldhop castled kingside, allowing pawn takes pawn on h2, check. White can capture the pawn on h2. But he played king to h1, not taking the pawn. Interesting, isn't it? And, well, king is saved behind the pawn there. Interesting position. Black is three pawns up. But who has a better activity of the pieces? Hmm? White. So black decided to sacrifice the pawn to activate his pieces. We have d5. Bishop takes pawn. Knight to f6 attacking the bishop, gaining time. Bishop to b3. Black to move. How would you continue now? Would you castle kingside or would you capture the pawn on e4 with knight? Hmm? Very important decision has to be made. Black was too worried about his king's safety and castled king's side. In this particular position, knight takes on e4 was the best move. White can't play rook to e1. So perhaps this is what white would have tried. And then queen to e7. Black is okay. However, black could have been perhaps worried about sacrifice. He wasn't sure what could hit him. And now he is advised not to take because of the mess on the board. So, then after bishop takes on f7, he would play king to f8. Very messy. So he didn't dare to capture the pawn. And we have a castling king's side. Knight takes bishop on h4. Knight takes on e4 now. Queen to e1. Knight to d6. Material is equal. Black has three pawns for a piece. Knight to c3. Rook to e8 attacking the queen. Queen to g3. Bishop to e6 opposing the bishop on b3. d3. Knight to c6. Bishop to h6 threatening something on g7. g6. Knight to d5. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop. Black to move. How should the black continue? Bullock played rook to e5. The strongest move in this position is knight to e7. I will not explain why. You will see shortly why. So instead of strongest move, we have rook to e5. White to move. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. How would you continue? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Did you pause? Should white play bishop to b3 or something else? We have knight takes on g6. Did you see this move? Pawn takes knight. What now? White played the move and black resigned. The move is queen takes on g6. And now you can see why black knight should be on e7. This wouldn't work. 
Black resigned in view of this continuation of King to H8. And now, due to popular demand, I will show this move in a slow motion. Check. Mate. This game was played in 1982, but reminds me of romantic chess. Romantic chess was the style of chess common in the 19th century. It was characterized by bold sacrifices and open tactical games. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.